Hello, hey everyone. I'm Joey Sparks. God's mercies are new again this morning. First Peter chapter one, verse six. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. Don't ever forget that our suffering is temporary. All right, verse 7. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Here's what he's setting up. He's saying, yes, you're going to suffer. Maybe you already are suffering for your faith. But know this, he says. This is a test that's temporary. And there's coming a time when it will withstand that test and it will be proven even more precious than that of gold. And so when we ask what are the most precious things in this world, what's the most precious of metals, will our minds quickly go to gold. It even serves as, as a monetary value. It's a currency in some cases. And he says it's tested. It's purified by fire so that it then holds up and it lasts. But guess what? It's coming a time when it will not last. There's a fire. Peter would talk about that in his next letter, Second Peter chapter 3. There's coming a fire that that gold will not withstand. It'll burn up. It'll perish. So while it's precious, it may be the most precious of metals, but it's not the most precious of things your soul is, especially your tested faith. So when you withstand this trial, if you can ride the wave of suffering long enough, deepening your faith in God all along the way, then it'll be found at the end of it all to be even more precious than that precious gold. It's not going to last. But your faith, as long as you keep rooted and growing in Christ, it will last. And it'll be proven to be all the more precious when Christ returns. The thing we're all waiting for will be the moment in which our lives are proven to be most precious, even though we have to withstand a short temporary fire of testing. Let that image just carry us through this entire book. We thank you so much for your time today. It is our prayer that God's timeless word will be on your mind all day long today. I woke up this morning.